procedural plant rendering. Oh, what a mysterious mystery it is. Um, basically, uh, I've been working on uh, a renderer from a game that procedurally draws plants based on quote-unquote DNA, which is just a series of bits represented in hexadecimal here. So I'm randomly, randomly generating those, those bits here and uh, it renders based on those bits uh, changes the uh, branch pattern, the leaf pattern, the, p the flower pattern among a, a bunch of other attributes and, uh, and renders it. Um, I'll, I'm going to be using this in my game for um, uh, for the, the creation of plant life and uh, eventually I'll shade it a little better and, and all that but so far I'm pretty happy it's, it's giving some really cool random looking plants um, and uh, the whole DNA thing is working pretty good uh, I can actually take two plants and mutate them together and uh, you combine the traits of the, the plants and keep crossbreeding them until you come across something you really like or whatever. But um, this will be uh, hopefully create uh, it'll be the basis of creating a really lush world to roam in. Starting with the micro, moving to the macro. So I'm starting with plant life and uh, and all that. Actually, already started on the uh, large scale map generator, but I'm moving to the micro now. Just getting the plant life and animal life and all that. So um, I'm I'm blathering. But anyway, I'll, I'll probably release this eventually. Somebody uh, wants to play around with it and, and help me create plants for my game. This is being rendered with uh, uh, JavaScript and uh, HTML canvas. Um, I'm using Chrome, which is the fastest of the browsers. I like that one. Um, and uh, using anything less than Chrome uh, on any slow, uh, any sort of a slow computer.